An electron revolves around an infinite cylindrical wire having uniform linear charge density 2 into 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb per meter in a circular path under the influence of attractive electrostatic field as shown in figure. The velocity of electron with which it revolves is dash into 10 raised to minus 10 raised to 6 meter per second. Given the mass of electron is 9 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg. See, for electron to revolve, see the same kind of question was there in 2024 January or April shift that I have discussed in the in that playlist. So you can also find the same question, right? Just a small uh, change in the data. Okay, so here uh, if there is a wire then around this wire an electron is revolving then for revolution it needs centripetal force and that centripetal force uh, for revolution is provided by the electrostatic force. So electrostatic force Fe is equals to mv square by r that is a centripetal force. So Fe is equals to centripetal force. Now Fe this wire generates an electric field here and that electric field is E which is given by 2k lambda by r. So the force on this electron due to the wire is charge of electron into the electric field. So that is equals to Q into E is equals to mv square by r. So we want velocity. So we make velocity as a subject. So v square is equals to Q E R by m. We want V. So V square, the value of Q charge is, it is a charge of electron. The electric field due to an infinite long wire is given by equation 2k lambda by r. So here E is equals to 2k lambda by r and here we have r and by m. So r by m. So r and r will get cancelled. The value of charge of electron is 1.610 raised to minus 9 into here 2 then the value of Coulomb's constant is 9 into 10 raised to 9 and the radius r is given here 2 into 10 raised to minus 8. Sorry, it is lambda, not the radius. R, r will get cancelled. So lambda is given 2 into 10 raised to minus 8 divided by the mass of electron. R and r get cancelled, right? So here mass is remaining in the denominator. So 9 into 10 raised to minus 31. Now here 9 and 9 will get cancelled. 2, 2 is a 4. 4 into 1.6 is 6.4. And if you uh, uh, add all this power, you will get 6.4 into uh, 10 raised to 13. So I am shifting one zero here. So it becomes 64 into 10 raised to 12, right? Uh, then it is a V square. So if we take square root on both the side, then V is equals to under root 64 into 10 raised to 12. A root of 64 is 8 and 10 raised to 12 becomes 10 raised to 6. So our answer is here 8. So 8 into 10 raised to 6 meter per second.